Hello YouTube, this is Arthur Worlds, and I'm bringing you guys another beginner guide. Um, it's all about basic things you need to know uh, in Cinema 4D. So, uh, last time we were talking about, or we were learning, uh, how to animate objects such as text and how to animate cameras. So, if you play this, as you can see, the text moves in and it spins. And... Uh, camera follows it so uh, this time we're gonna be talking about textures and colors so basically let's start let's start by creating a color so you have this um, uh, material material box and uh, you, you, if you want to create a color or a material just double click on it double click and then uh, you have uh, a new material that you just created so double click on that too and then go to color tab right here and then uh, when you have then you have like color and it could be any color usually it's gray automatically it sets it to gray so just uh, select whatever color you want I'll just select blue for the sake for the sake of the tutorial now to make it look really cool you can add reflection so you have this reflection tab here check off reflection once you've checked that off uh, you can leave it just regular reflection just decrease the brightness or increase the brightness or change the color of the reflection which I would not suggest to do only very in very uh, rare cases you would uh, change the color of reflection but um, what I'd suggest to do is go to texture tab here uh, click on this little uh, pointer click on it and then go down and select Fresnel right here and basically this adds a really realistic and really cool uh, reflection effect so now that we're done with our uh, with our uh, material color material, let's drag it on to the text. So just uh, click on it, hold it, and drag it onto the text right here. So now we have uh, material and text. Now let's render this and see what it looks like. As you can see, the text looks uh, a little bit better now since we added a uh, reflection and a nice blue color. So, uh, let me quickly teach you guys uh, how to create uh, textures. And if you don't know what texture is, texture is basically, uh, let's say you want to create a scene where uh, the, there's paved floor. Uh, so, you, you'd basically find a picture on Google and uh, just put it in here and um, yeah just put it on the on the floor so uh, let me show you guys how to do this so first of all find the picture that you want to use the uh, texture should I say um, and it has to be a big a big size file uh, okay so let's see some texture that I have that's big enough to use. Uh, let's see, let's see. Strip metal. Uh, let's see this. And just grab it and drag it into Cinema 4D. Alright, so now you have a texture. I'll double click on it to edit it. Then go to Diffusion, select Diffusion. Then uh, so select the little pointer again where it says beside texture and go down go to bitmaps see where it says bitmaps then just uh, select which uh, which texture you want to use and uh, usually you'd use the same texture for diffusion and what diffusion basically does is it uh, balances the contrast and make it makes it look uh, more more realistic in terms of co contrast. Uh, 
I don't know, it's it's mostly in textures such as sand, rock, uh, basically uh, things that do not reflect and that are not so shiny. Uh, yeah, so that's mostly when you'd use it. And as you can see, if you uh, decrease mix strength right here, uh, it becomes brighter and brighter. So uh, let's put it up to six, 70. And yeah, let's uh, now let's put this texture onto our plane or our floor. Okay. And let's render this and see what it looks like. Alright, so as you can see there's a lot of tiles. It's all tiled up. Tiled up. Uh anyways. I'm not a good way to uh, a good solution for this. The only thing I know is that floor always does that. Actually I do know a solution, sorry. Uh, what you should do is select floor, the actual layer floor where I'm showing with my mouse right now, and then beside it to the to the right, there should be a texture tag, which is the material that you added to the floor. So click on that and uh, until you have uh, until you have uh, or orange uh, square around it, and then go down. To the tag uh, tab, and here it should say uh, seamless. So check off seamless, and then projection. Change the projection to uh, UV mapping, I guess. And now let's render this. Let's see. All right. Uh, seems like it did not do anything. So let's try this again. Uh, click on this texture tag and change the projection to uh, cubic, I guess. Cubic, let's try cubic. All right, there we go. Uh, now it actually works. Now uh, it's not all tiled up. Yeah, or it seems like it's not, I think. Yeah, but it's it, it's way better to uh, use the textures that they give you in Content Browser. So let's just delete this texture right now because we, we're going to use a better texture. And go to Content Browser, which is if you're using Cinema 4 dr 13 it should be where you see the tab right here, Objects. Below it, it should say Content Browser. So click on Content Browser. If it's not anywhere here, then check uh, check Tools maybe. Check some of the tabs here, and it should say Content Browser in one of them. If you're di using a different version. But anyways, uh, once you're at Content Browser, you should be on this uh, type of screen here. It should say Catalogs, Computer Favorites, Network Presets. So double click on Presets. Then double click on uh, visualize. Then double click on materials. Then uh, scroll down. Double click on tiles. And then uh, I'm gonna use marble. It's up to you what you're gonna use. I'm gonna use marble, dark colored marble. Then drag that over the uh, floor. Okay. So now there is a texture on our floor. Let's render this. Yeah, I can definitely tell that there's more reflections on the floor now, and even bump maps. If you don't know what bump map is, it's basically uh, it creates an illusion of the object as if it was uh, as if it was 3D, as if these tiles were actually 3D tiles uh, by creating reflections, complex reflections around the tiles and shadows. So yeah. Uh, usually use it for textures such as brick or uh, tiles so the tiles look more rounded more random than just 
uh, like flat, completely flat uh, tiles, and the reflections are a little bit more wave, wavy, wavy, wavy. Anyways, so as you can see, it looks much nicer now. It looks pretty cool actually. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty much it for today's uh, tutorial, guys. Uh, please tune in for the next next part of Cinema 4D Beginner Guide. And again, reminder why I'm doing this is because a lot of people that watch me in my channel, they don't know how to use Cinema 4D very well. And I know what it feels like because uh, I was a starter at once. Uh, I didn't know how to use it. So I'm, I, I just thought over what would be the best things to show. Uh, the most basic things to teach people so that they uh, use that knowledge to expand their skill in this program so yeah guys thank you for watching please uh, please comment please thumbs up the video and subscribe and see you guys next time